and girls, welcome to Mrs. Stelzig's classroom workshop. Today we are going to follow up a little bit um, on some facts about beavers. And then after I give you some facts about beavers, um, Chloe is going to teach us how to draw her famous beaver. If you go um, on to Aster Kinder YouTube page, you're going to find that um, there is some information Mrs. Afaji and uh, Mrs. Townsend did on a beaver song and some beaver uh, facts and some questions for you. So we're just going to provide a little bit and then a drawing. So to get started, was the second? Yeah. there are two species of beavers. There is the European and the North American beaver. Beavers are the second largest rodent in the world. So this little cute beaver is actually a rodent. <gasps> the large front teeth of the beaver never stop growing. The beaver is constantly gnawing on wood to keep their teeth from growing too long. So their teeth are always growing and that's why the beaver is constantly gnawing on wood to keep his teeth from getting too long. Together, beaver colonies create dams of wood and mud to provide still deep water in order to protect against coyotes, bears, or eagles. And also, um, so they can float food and building material down the water for them. Once the dams are completed, and ponds formed, uh, beavers will work on building their homes called lodges in the middle. The dome-shaped lodges, like the dams, are constructed with branches and mud. Lodges have underwater entrances, making entry tough for most other animals. So they kind of have separate little parts and it's you have to go under in order to get into it. There are usually two dens within the lodge. One is for drying off um, after entering from the water and another drier one is where um, a family of up to four adults and six to eight young live. So. They have one part of their den that is for drying off and then another part for them to live. Um, there were once more than 60 million North American beavers, um, but due to hunting for its fur, if you've ever felt the fur, it's very soft. It's glands for medicine. And um, because the beaver's tree falling and dams affect other land uses, um, the population has declined to around 12 million. So there used to be about 60 million, but um, due to lots of different reasons, it's declined now to about 12 million. The beaver has a good sense of hearing, so you can see the little ears, smell and touch. It has poor eyesight. So its eyesights are poor, but it has a set of transparent where it can see through um, eyelids, which, what do you think those transparent eyelids would allow it to do? It allows it to see underwater. So it has a pair of transparent eyelids that helps it see underwater. Using their broad, scaly tail, which is, you know, kind of what we think of when we think of be uh, beavers, they will forcefully slap the water as an alarm signal to other beavers in the area that danger is near, a predator is approaching. So they will use their tail to slap it down and let others know that danger is near. Beavers are slow on land if you've ever watched them, but using their webbed feet here, as you can see their webbed feet, they're very good swimmers. A beaver can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. Oh. So try counting to 60 15 times. See if you could do that. Beavers are herbivores. They like to eat the wood of trees. So they love wood. They also like pondweed and water lilies. 
An adult beaver are around three feet long, so about three feet or yardstick, and have been known to um, weigh over 55 pounds. Um, beavers can live up to 24 years in the wild. The beaver is the national animal of Canada and is featured on the Canadian five cent piece. Beavers like to keep themselves busy. They are prolific builders, mm -hmm. which they're very good, during the night. So they love to build at night because remember, they're mostly nocturnal. So if you've ever heard busy as a beaver, that's where that saying comes from because they are so busy. Well, Oregon is called the beaver state because of the association of beavers with the early history of the state and because of the admirable qualities of intelligence, industry, and ingen ingenuity that are associated with this animal. Oh. The beaver is the official state animal and it is and is displayed on the Oregon state flag. Wow. So that's why when you see the beaver on the flag, it's because of its early, early um, history of the beaver when the first came over and settled and the way it builds its homes and does things um, kind of helped represent Oregon. So that's a little bit on the beaver. Remember, go um, in your packet, you're gonna get some information and go watch Aster Kinder on YouTube and you're gonna learn a little song and um, some, more, some more facts. So we're gonna turn it over to Chloe. And Chloe's going to do her yeah, Chloe's going to do her very best job. This is her first time doing a step-by-step -step drawing and, um, <laughs> and, with, and using a Sharpie. And um, so she's going to do her very best job of showing um, you all how to draw a beaver. And I'm excited because this is my first time drawing a beaver with her as well. So, all right, oh, and Chloe. sorry, I'm left-handed, so it's going to be a little tricky. She is left-handed, so she'll, um, she might have to draw and then move out of the way yeah. for a little bit for us to see. Okay, so, so first what we're going to do is we're going to, like, make it fluffy. So we're going to do, like, a bunch of lines to make the head fluffy like this. So we're going to draw. Okay, and what shape did you kind of make it in? Into a circle. Okay, kind of into a circle, okay. And then the next part is the ears, which we're going to try to make them fluffy too, but not as fluffy. Okay. So we're going to go like... This kind of into an ovalish way. Okay. We'll do it on both sides. <laughs> okay, next we are going to draw the eyes. So we're going to do two circles. All right, two circles. And now we're going to draw two half circles in them, like this. One at the top, one at the bottom? Yep. Okay. On both eyes. And they're going to color, not the circles, but we're coloring the inside of okay. the eyes. Not the oh, okay. circles. Okay. Can, can you see it on the camera? Um, okay. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. And now we're going to draw an oval for the nose. We're going to start by... Next, we are going to draw a little tiny half circle wherever you want, and then we're going to color the rest in. OK, 
Okay, next we're going to draw a line down and then kind of like a J. And then we're going to do another J, but not the line. <laughs> but backwards? Yeah. Okay. Next, we are going to draw T. So we're going to do a rectangle like that, and we're going to put a little line. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do like a rectangular shape for the body. We're going to do fluff. We're going to do another one on the other side. Ugh. <laughs> it's okay. It's hard to do in front of people. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm usually better when I'm not in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> Let's go like that. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line down and then back up. We're going to do another one and back up. And now, of course, the, the thing that makes it a beaver is the tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to do out. We're going to do a straight line out as long as you want. And then we're going to do a loop. And then we're going to bring it back in. Right to the bottom. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to do one line to the bottom, two lines to the bottom, three lines to the bottom. Across them. You can do as many as you want. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now we have our beaver. And you can add like eyelashes or a bow if it's a girl or a boy. And um, next we're going to do some trees next to it. So first we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to go right like kind of below it a little bit. We're going to draw a line all the way as long as you want. And then we're going to go like this. And all the way to the end. Because this tree is going to be uh, without leaves and stuff. You can draw more trees with leaves. Okay. So, and now the, we're going to draw the grass because we don't want it floating. And then you can add a sun or something if you want to.
then there's your beaver. Nice. And do they need to remember to do with their work? Huh? What should they always do after they do their work? Sign your name. Sign your name. Would yeah. you like to show them how to make a bow? Sure. So, do you want me to put it on it, or do you want me to like put it somewhere else? Either. Um, I'll do it right here. Okay. So, first what you're going to do, I'll just First what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle right above his ear. Well, kind of right by his ear. Okay. And then you're going to draw one light out. And then you're going to put it down. Kind of like a triangle. Like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's good. And then you and then you're going to put a line down. Very cute. And now you can paint it or color it. You, if you have a paint set, set um, when you got it from Mrs. Selzig, right, mm -hmm. from the school, you can um, paint it. What color do you think they? You should do brown. Usually a brownish color for yeah. the beaver. You should do lighter. brown. So the whole body should be light brown, and then the arms and the feet and the tail and the ears should be light. All right. Do you want to hold up ours to show? Sure. I love on us. <laughs> All right. So here's my attempt, my very first beaver. There's mine. And, and here's on us. I have to get up really close. I'll I'm just going to bring it up so you can see it. I like the tiny little one. It's really cute. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was fun, Chloe. Thank you. Welcome. So we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the beaver. And just remember, there's two different types of beavers. Their teeth are always growing. Um, that's why they're chewing on the wood a lot. Herbivores. Um, they do have two types of dens. And um, it is um, on our state flag. And um, we hope you uh, watch this, draw it, and you also go to Ask Our Kinder YouTube and learn some more. All right, so thanks everybody for joining us, and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.